guys and welcome back to Auction Not Included. We, of course, are working through the automation upgrade. My name is Twitchy and we have a little bit of a problem over here. So when this system gets up and running, you can see it can pull 850 out of the out of the current. The problem with that is, of course, these only put out 400 at a time. If I press F2 here, you can see that they put out 400. So if everything is up and running, we are not actually producing any extra power anywhere. Now, I would just solve this by taking this, uh, taking one of these manual power generators and putting another one down next to it, maybe put down another couple of batteries, kind of keep the, the stores going. But this is going to lead to a little bit of a problem. The problem is that 4 times 3 is 12, and these wires here can only take 10, or... A thousand, whichever way you want to work that. So what needs to happen is we need to get a coal generator and a manual generator both working on this line. But there is another problem with that, and that is, of course, that making a coal generator, which is what I'm going to start my research working towards, also has a tendency to produce far more carbon dioxide than the algae terrariums can deal with. So after I've learnt, I've done that, I also then need to do the air systems, which thankfully leads us towards another part of oxygen as well so this should all work out in the end it's just it's going to take a little bit of time and we're going to have a slight inefficiencies on the go here but i, I think we can live with that I, I think we should be able to so somehow we can okay well that's the research done for the internal combustion we're going for the coal generator obviously at the same time i'm going to start researching the carbon skimmer and let's start thinking about where we're going to lay things out here now obviously we want to put one of these down yeah, I think there would be pretty good. I'm also going to replace these tiles here with some more airflow and bring that all the way back like that. That should work out pretty well because I'm going to put the carbon skinner under here. We'll take the water off of this pump and then we'll shimmy along all the nasty water over there. So let's start working on that as well. We'll put the liquid vent there. Let's think about how this is going to come back. You can see that I've put a few more algae terraria up. Uh, that should be enough to deal with just what's the uh, what the duplicates are breathing out I, I'm not 100% sure on that but I think it will do I did work out how many it took a little while ago but uh, I've, I've forgotten that and my pad has been moved so I cannot see uh, so we go down there and through there so we've got a dirty water line we've got a clear water line like that and we'll, we'll see where those go obviously we're gonna have to wait for the research to be done we can also take some power let's get the wire going from there and this will have to be de deconstructed uh, when this one gets put in place uh, unfortunately not there's not even a case of this one will have to be disabled uh, because if they uh, are low priority sorry because if, if they all fire up that's too much power for the circuit to take uh, that's why we did the six and the four because that makes a thousand Oh, look at that. It's literally been a couple of seconds. I, I had enough time to, like, breathe in and click on the button to find out what that is at. So that that's working out pretty well there. It's a shame that all this isn't being built with the same sort of fervor that I like things to be built, new new pro, uh, new projects to be built. I seem to be getting a bit of a stutter as I go on in my life. That's uh, that's terrible. It's not, not the most useful thing in the world. I don't really want to turn that door into a nine as well, but we'll go for it for now. And was that actually... I think it was night time. Ah, oh, disgusting, disgraceful. Damage overheat. What's going on over? I don't. I don't want to be out here. Where are we? Am I up? Am I down? Am I? What? what what's overheating? What have we got? A tiny battery in the duplicate checkpoint. Uh, same with the buildings broken. That's overheating, hey. And what's flooded there? Something else. So something. Something goes on down below by the looks of it. Okay, well, we'll have to uh, maybe make our way towards that at some point. Ah, cool. So I bumped up the priorities of everything in the background here, and that's all getting worked on. That's pretty cool. Let's pop that down to a five. Uh, everything else is really what I want to get super high priority here. How are my researchers going? We're out. Of oh, we're out of power. How dare you, sir? How dare you? So close. So close. Literally three bits to be made. Uh, I did, however, up the priority on all these water pipes and stuff, so I should imagine that's what's taken everybody's attention away. Uh, I was expecting someone to run up here at some point. What's this on? That's a seven. Oh, that's pretty good. These should be down pretty low. Six and six. That's that's cool. Uh, why have you come here before? There we go. Okay, that that's cool. That's fine. 
Uh, here comes Tug to do the work. Already up to 18. Nice, nice, nice. Do it, do it. That's 19. Ah, the, the bar doesn't go all the way across. It goes all the way across depending on the, te on the tech inside. Okay, that's a thing. Anyway, we're going to come down to oxygen, get the carbon skimmer. Does it just fit in there? It does. Ah, that's brilliant. Beautiful. And other words beginning with B that mean good. So this is the clean in, nasty out. I'm glad that lined up like that. I didn't actually plan it, but that, that works. So that's all good. Do we need power? Of course we do. How could I ever think that it would be a powerless system? Put the battery down here. And then let's put a P9 on all the stuff that needs doing uh, like so. I think that'll work. And this one can actually get deconstructed. We're in a little bit of a transition stage here. At the same time, I am going to grab myself a storage compactor. Pop it down there. Uh, let's again get that up on the nines if possible people coming through what research are we going to do next that's a that's a good thing to think about why people are doing some stuff I do want to start working towards the clothing it's something that I don't really uh, I haven't really experimented with up to now so I think that would be a good idea also getting these fossil fuels done oh we've not found a natural gas geyser yet but you know at some point we're going to and I would also like to get these powers done Mm, generic sensors. Sensors would be a good idea. A clock sensor and a weighted pressure plate. Uh, that That's good. I'm going to go for filtration for now. Let's, let's get this line finished down here, that, that level 2 tech. Okay, so this system should be up and running now. We want that about 50 on the 7. That sounds about right. Hopefully people are just going to bring down some coal. And that should now start the batteries filling up with... Ba oh, oh, he's, he's gone. There we go. Batteries filling up with power. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. And hopefully we've got enough battery power here to keep this light lit overnight. That That's what we want to go down there. I've just noticed that that's not really doing what it needs to do. Let's cancel that build as well. Need to get this one in particular built, but that's not going to happen until these guys construct their way across the top there. And hopefully we're down, we've now lost the, uh, the, the panic stations we were at. This doesn't appear to be pumping. Why not? What's wrong with you? Let's leave that running for now. Uh, this one. We've got water coming in. <laughs> I see what I've done. It's the same thing I always do. I've put down the liquid bridge the wrong way around. It is quite a common problem of mine, it turns out. We go from green to white. There we go. Brilliant. Uh, liquid pipe. Liquid. Oh, no. Clicked on the wrong one. Liquid bridge. All the way up to nine, please. Let's, let's just get that done so we can watch, watch this start to fill up. Which means we now have a new issue that we need to work on. Uh, aside from the fact that we're really trying to empty this water out so we can put down these algae terraria here. Um, and maybe even actually lower down. Ooh, what's this slime doing for us? This slime is doing bad for us. We want to watch out for that. Um, maybe we want to expose it to a lot of heat. I, I always like that as a way of killing my germs. Just boil it off. Uh, that may or may not be a thing. Oh, here we go. Cool. It's, it's now throwing out. And we have a little thing done here. Nice. Let's go down. We've got the liquid filter and, of course, the gas filter. Oh, excuse me. A little bit of hiccup there. That means we can stop... I'm going to stop and start again. That means we can start working on our oxygen system up here. So that should work out A-OK. -okay. I wonder whether we're going to um, dry, uh, cool the oxygen going through here. Maybe have another system. Uh, I'm not sure. Like somewhere, I would like to find one of those thermal anti-entropy whatever whatever the crystal hydrogen thingies are called because uh, then where I'm concentrating all the heat there will just run some um, some what are they called thermal switch plates something like that uh, they are up here here somewhere. Thermal control. Where are you? Advanced automation. Smelt it. Refined objects. There we go. Thermal shift plate. That's the one I want. Uh, take that to somewhere cold. Take all, And then put the other half in this, this hot area. That should work out A-OK. -okay. Oh, look at this. I'm going to uproot this one so we can move along here closer to the cold area because that's that's body temperature that's wrong there and that's bad. We, should, we shouldn't have to worry about that. Horrible noise incoming. Ah, oh, it's horrible. Plants have died, but they haven't really. They've just been transplanted. What? Why? What's wrong with you? Irrigation. Oh, someone's going to bring you water. Don't worry about it. I would have thought this water would have pumped up and in by now. Uh, not that one. This one. There's no water in there. Does this only... Hmm. Does this not want to pump out in the other direction as well? I would have thought it would have. You know You know what I'm saying? I would have thought it would have gone the other way. Pipe blocked. Why do you say pipe blocked? Um, 
Is that not how irrigation happens? Does it have to be a hydroponic plant? Is that is that the one? Have I have I messed this up? I think I probably have. Ah oh, yes, it's the hydroponic farm tile that needs to be uh, irrigated through pipe. If you look kind of here, you can see liquid through through liquid piping, and that one does not. So this is only done uh, through duplicate action. I suppose that's kind of okay. 22 degrees is a little bit warm, but we can live with that. Okay, with that in mind, let's start thinking about how we are going to do a water system a water oxygen system why are they why have they still not built this i really do want this built of people moving other things okay so they're obviously moving all this stuff down here for now when all these jobs have been sorted out i'm going to bring us back for doing a hydrogen system there do i want to do yeah we've got the uh, the hydrogen combustor there so we've got somewhere to deal with it of course that's not the only way of dealing with your hydrogen but it is the best way of dealing with it at this precise moment in the tech level i'm going to carry on working towards my health care probably start doing the generic sensors next as well maybe the agriculture hmm, mr wire there no no big problem but i also find it interesting that this um the single coal generator manages to keep the power available up i wonder what's not running here let's go to the energy and have a look but the algae deoxygenizer the thermoregulators are switching back and forth the liquid pump's not running and the carbon skimmer is barely running which is um unusual i was expecting the carbon skimmer to really be working overdrive with this carbon producer here but but no doesn't seem to care does not seem to care. Maybe we should make these airflow as well so that the, ox the uh, carbon that gets made there also drops down. I'd like to start not making copper floors at some point as well. Maybe, maybe an iron floor would be nice. Hmm, this has been here for a little while now. I've even gone around and dug a few things out from around it and still the duplicates are not going in and building those things. I wonder what the deal with uh, that is. Why, why not? Maybe someone else has been task with the job i don't know well let's cancel all this for now no 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 you don't mm, cancel all no you, you're not having that i think we've got a little bit of a problem here should we uh, should we save and come back it is of course an early access game so we expect things like that to go wrong that's fine things like that do happen uh let's do granite start wicking the temperature up i don't i don't know whether that's what i want to do or whether i want to have it so that this is a sealed in box but for now we'll, we'll do it like that um it depends how much heat the oxygen producer makes the electrolyzer that's the the phrase that i'm looking for speaking of let's pull one of these out now these things i've got a feeling i'm going to need two and i would like to set it up in a bit of a way where we have like one here and one here then we're no that's that if anything that's a little bit low uh, i want to have a nice little walkway down here so that i can set up two one there and one there like that now we're going to have this as an enclosed space we'll have the hydrogen up the top here being filtered off and burnt and the oxygen kind of just flows down so that should be something that works out i'm also wondering how we're going to power this now obviously uh, brothgar has done a lot on the self-powered electrolyzer unfortunately when i come into a world like this and start actually playing with those particular designs I never actually get the payback that that is spoken of so I'm not sure how that one is supposed to go uh, down Let's put those there and see if we can get this built up So once they're in place, we want to have ourselves a pump somewhere. Maybe actually we want to have the pump over here um, Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're gonna do it like that. We're gonna make sure the hydrogen can pump up and over Why is it not cancelling stuff? Oh, this is bad. Yo, this is bad. Uh, 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 no, I was, I was, I was not trying to cancel. I was trying to deconstruct. That was what was bad. Okay, that, that's a thing. Let, yeah, let's work backwards from the hydrogen outlet. I'm looking in the wrong thing here. We're gonna have a gas pump down here, and this is going to be solid tiles up like so. Uh, and then we'll pump this out until it's just vacuum. That's, that's the way that's gonna work. It should work a okay for us. I want to put some, um, some, some ladders in. I keep pressing. X instead of C. I want to put some ladders in so we can get our dudes up in the corner here and doing other jobs, various other jobs, mainly sealing in the side of our base here. Uh, let's also do a little bit of diggy digs. I want that to be a nine. I want this to be an eight because at some point we're going to need to work through all that and then dig all through that as well. Once again, setting the sand to nine and I'd like to also do that if possible, but I've got a feeling most of the sand is going to end up falling down on the floor here. So once we've got this little up and over set, what we need to do is put in our deoxygenizer or electrolyzers, whatever they're called. Something like that and that. I think that's the, the good way of doing it with an airflow tile underneath so the oxygen can come down and out. This, of course, is going to be sealed off. And we'll have a little 
further seal sealed area like like this that's enough room to walk through right so if we put a door there yeah something like something like that I think that will work out a-okay get ourselves a ladder down that's not a ladder that's a council tool put a ladder down there uh, door in the way and I think everything's gonna be good now all right cool I'll bring you back when these guys have uh, built this uh, beast obviously we need to uh, hook up some other things here like where the hydrogen's going and stuff like that but generally this is the system now Oh, that was nice and quick. Uh, the new day dawned. I threw up a few higher priorities and everyone got to work. I mean, that's good. That's how we like things to be done around here, right? Uh, is that everything sorted? So the next question is, where are we going to put uh, this hydrogen generator? Uh, turns out there is not the place. The here? We could do it there. That would be an idea. Let's try it like that. And then maybe put ourselves down... Mm, no, I was going to say maybe put ourselves a battery down, but I can see things going wrong from that. Uh, let's do it like this. Maybe we want to put the hydrogen gen uh, the hydrogen generator up there. Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. Let's move it up above. Um, I also want to really get that dug out. I wasn't expecting sand to be just there. Uh, people coming along to do the work? I hope so. I'm going to break those because they're no longer needed. Chlorine is getting in the base. We we are in trouble. We're Oh, I also managed to break a bit of a pipe there. But uh, chlorine in the base, not the best. I mean, I suppose it's kind of okay. It'll do a little bit of um, germ killing for us. Is this not? No, that's not. That, that's why. That's why. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go P5 because I want I want this to get filled in before anything else. If at all possible. There we go. Just like that. Going to build it. Going to build it. Going to fill it all in. Fill it all in. Yeah, go on. Do it. That's the one. All right, cool. Suddenly, everything stops being a problem. Uh, liquid pump up on the nine. This, we're going to have to set a filter up with to begin with, but we can get rid of it eventually. Well, do I care about this uh, this hatch walking around here? I'm not sure if I do or not. Um, right, let's get some power on the go. It's got a... They've got to be connected, you know. All these have got to be together. And we got about 6, 000, uh, 680 power units there. Is that just water dripping down into the water? That's fine, as long as it's not polluted water. Polluted water dropping down into my water systems would not be great. This is kind of why I wanted this door fixed, but it turns out no one's built it yet. So let's do a nine there. Get that done as quick as possible. Though people are going around and stealing some food. Stealing, I suppose. That, 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 that is the term there. Okay, so we're going to go for this slightly weird setup here. If I P9 all of this, that should help. Um, we've got a manual generator going into a battery, as well as the hydrogen generator going into the battery. Now, this should hopefully give it the kickstart it needs to start all this working. Uh, I've just realised we've got a little bit of a problem here, and this is something I am going to deal with right now. That's not the right one. Uh, let's go through there like that. What I want to do is have a little bit of a filter. Now, this is so not something that I'm going to have forever. Some something, in fact, that I want to get rid of as quick as possible. Uh... Which way do I want it to go? I actually want it to do something like that. But we're going to take the hydrogen out this way. And then this one's going to come down and out to a vent down here. Yes, yeah, something like that. Okay, cool. And then everything that's in here should just get pumped out. And eventually we're going to end up with a pure hydrogen atmosphere in here. And then we can deal with that. I've pressed the wrong one again. Okay, cool. Uh, P9 should sort all that out, hopefully. Uh, and let's see how long it takes for these guys to build this. I'm not expecting them to take too long, though. The fact that they're concentrating on the... Ladders is quite interesting here. How close are we to the end of the cycle? We just started. That's good. I like that a lot. I'm going to put this on P6, actually, rather than P9. Uh, it'd be nice to have this initiative layer up, but it's much more important that we get all this stuff put up. I also need to power the filter here. Something like that. It's not super important. The filter is not the most important. We could just uh, repair the generator over and over and over again. But I I'd prefer us to avoid that much damage if at all possible. All right, these guys are doing well. But I've run out of things to say about this particular topic. So I'll bring you back when they have actually finished it. Okay, we're getting close. And I've just realized this now exposes me to a whole load of problems up here. So I'm going to try and seal this off 
pretty sharpish. Uh, just like that, I think we'll probably do. And then we'll have a nice enclosed space. Um, we're probably just going to go up here like this. Ah, I see you've got a little bit of a problem there. Let's try and get over that by doing this. Is Piet not going to come through and do the work? Doesn't look like he is. Does he even know how to do work? Like, honestly, do, do you have any idea what you're doing up there? Can you come along and do this one? Just this one right here. Just, just so you can get out. That would be a good idea. And then maybe we can seal this up with a door of some description at the same time I would like uh, this all cut out pretty cool uh, okay so he's doing some work who's doing the work who's doing the work here everybody should be doing the work okay this all looks good now what we need to do is set this up to a nice high priority let's get let's get people in there to do some old work uh, this of course needs to filter out the hydrogen and then everything else is coming down here here. Now, is this enough space for the hydrogen to work the way I want it to? I, I'm not actually sure. Not actually sure. The fact that everybody's now gone to bed makes me a little sad. Good morning, duplicants! Alright, let's see if these guys are going to go along and do the thing that we need them to do here. Now, the fact that there is oxygen falling down here makes me a sad bunny. So what I'm going to do is go 8 and put that there. And then maybe that will be enough. Maybe that will be enough. Let's have a look at the ox at the uh, the airflow here. It's looking good. It's looking good. All the stuff that's coming out of there is ridiculous. Stuff. I think I'd like to look at this. Yeah, it's a lot of oxygen getting pumped. A lot of oxygen. But that that's fine. That's fine. We also need to set this up to some sort of... Mm, yes, indeed. Some sort of pressure sensor. Now, do we have that already? Here's the question. Do we have a pressure sensor? That's a temperature sensor. Uh, here it is, pressure sensor. Let's start working on uh, that one, if at all possible. That would be uh, great. So he's coming through to uh, provide the power here. Are we going to have any hydrogen going down? That's a, that's a question right now. That is a question. Uh, I think it's going to work out a okay think so. Event oh, there we go. We, we do get the odd bit every now and then. Uh, but aside from that, everything's kind of being run out there. I, I honestly don't think we're going to get a self-powering system here. Especially not with the filter. But the, the, the filter is kind of an additional thing just to help try and clear through the system. Now, are these guys hitting max pressure? Okay, so I think what we want to do is kind of just disable that for now. It's a, unfortunate I can't disable it without the duplicates running in and ruining my day. Uh, is there another way of doing it other than sensors and stuff maybe it maybe a switch of some description we could put a, a um, an automation switch out here that that would work uh, work quite well as well um, but I can I can literally see a lot of hydro, uh, oxygen being dragged over the side here um, We'll work on that one day. We'll work on that one day. Uh, the fact that we've got so much oxygen up here already is probably the problem. So what we'll do is we'll set up a, a sensor here to see how much oxygen is a flowing. If it's over like 2,000, we'll have this turned off. Over 1,000, sorry. We'll have this turned off. Um, and when it drops below a thousand we'll turn it back on should be should be as simple as that this this one definitely needs some tweaking though this guy here mm -mm -mm. is that my pressure sensors that is indeed my pressure sensors okay we're gonna make this what do we need 25 grams of material and a couple of uh couple of wires that should be all good i'm gonna add two of these then the one would probably be enough but we'll, we'll go with two for now and see how that goes down is anybody gonna come along and do that for me ah oh, look we've already got people getting angry with the button uh, 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 uh. smash it up and make it do a thing okay that's cool uh right so we want the atmospheric sensor we want it down here i then also want to get some automation wire that one and that one uh, and also we want to try and sort that one out somehow uh, probably there and bring these down now I'm a little bit worried that these are actually unreachable so let's destroy that for now mm -mm. this probably isn't the best setup now that I've stopped to look at, to look at it especially the way this is constantly pumping uh, if we could just get the hydrogen diffusing down there a little bit better and then all the oxygen being pulled out but the problem with that is of course uh, there's too much oxygen down here pushing it all back so that's that's a bit of a problem there. A little bit of a problem. Oh, we managed to turn it off this time, though. Oh, I didn't get... Uh, I did a bad... I did a bad because that got broken, and we don't want that. Oh, no. Uh, so is this going to get done? Is this going to get done? If you could, that would be great. That would be really great. People are taking stuff out, though. That's also good. Let's do a K7 to get this lot swept up. Um, if that was the case, that would be amazing. So if this... No, this one drops below... Hey, drops below a thousand. Yeah, that's that's what we want. Just like that. 
Um, then we've just got to wait for all of this to diffuse out. That should be a-okay as well. Working well, working well. I think after a couple of cycles work, we've finally got this down into a system that I am happy to call finished. We have a small sensor down here telling these electrolyzers when to turn on or off. Basically, when we start running out of oxygen at the top here, it, these electrolyzers will kick in. We then have this little system on the right here that only really lets hydrogen in. Uh, that's, of course, when this has also built up a little bit of pressure. That's what this atmospheric sensor is for. Actually, this one is here so that I can turn it on and off by hand if need a B, but I'm going to wait until there's enough hydrogen here so that when I do turn it on, it just pulls more hydrogen down instead of pulling all the oxygen out of the base and then just cy cycling it around because that really wasn't a working. And with that, I think I have made a working oxygen system and I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time. We're going to try and address the water problem. Of course, we are now getting a whole lot of polluted water. We need to try and deal with that somehow, though I do happen to have something that's uh, collecting heat. Now, these here will not get up to the point where they can boil water, but we can do a couple more systems on top to make things that do boil water. But yes, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye! Oh, look, bristle blossom. Our first bristle blossom. Oh, man. Really?